be decollage. Decollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. More mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. The new James Webb Telescope has been in operation since the summer of 2022. Since then, the largest and most expensive space telescope of all time has already caused a sensation. Even the first images showed that everything would change with the launch of the telescope at the edge of the universe. James Webb made one startling discovery after another. What exactly it is and what consequences it will have for us, you will learn in this video. If you're interested in the topics of space travel, astronomy, and facts that not everyone knows, now, we start with the most important facts about the new James Webb Telescope and its mission at the edge of the universe. The view to the edge of space. One thing is certain, James Webb looks deeper into the universe than any other telescope to date. Thanks to a 21-foot mirror with 18 honeycomb-shaped segments, James Webb can capture light that has been traveling to us for more than 13 billion years. The 69 by 46 foot telescope is packed with high-tech, state-of-the-art instrumentation. According to NASA, the telescope's infrared sensors are so sensitive to infrared light that even the slight warmth of a bumblebee at the distance of the moon can be detected. As a result, this telescope will eclipse anything that has been technically possible. James Webb is considered 100 times more sensitive and powerful than the Hubble Space Telescope. The mission motto could be sharper, deeper, wider, and in doing so, the technology delivers vastly improved color imaging compared to Hubble. James Webb is not just a telescope but something like a gigantic time machine. Our universe is said to be about 14 billion years old and Webb can safely capture light that has been traveling to us for 13.5 billion years. Thus, this giant looks to the edge of time. Although Hubble has already been a revolutionizer in space exploration, the old telescope couldn't look quite as deep, and the images Hubble could provide of the oldest galaxies were comparatively fuzzy and blurry. Unlike Hubble, the new telescope is also located much deeper in space. Hubble to date is located at a distance of 342 miles. James Webb, on the other hand, is positioned a full 900,000 miles from Earth in space. That is more than four times as far away as the Moon. For NASA and all the nations involved in building the telescope, this represents a significant risk. Hubble has had to be repaired and upgraded five times during its 30 years of operation. To do this, NASA Space Shuttle missions flew virtually to our cosmic front door and fixed it. James Webb is too far away to fly to. Repair missions could be a challenge to the development of modern space flight. NASA long ago discontinued its Space Shuttle program due to technical defects. The only spacecraft currently carrying humans into space are the Dragon shuttles from SpaceX and Elon Musk. Of course, if SpaceX flies humans to Mars as planned starting in the 2030s, they could stop by James Webb and change a few light bulbs. We now look at what James Webb has shocked the world of science with, the oldest objects. Even on the first picture NASA presented to the world public, things were seen that should not exist at all. The deep field picture shows in reddish coloring the oldest galaxies of the universe known so far. Here. First investigations provided for an unexpected sensation because the oldest galaxies are, to all appearances, much older than assumed so far. Scientists must now come to terms with the fact that ready, massive, and luminous galaxies already existed 200 million years after the Big Bang. At the moment, international expert teams are examining the authenticity of these findings and looking at whether there could have been perhaps an error with the past determination of distances and the age of galaxies. If the accuracy of the measurement methods is confirmed, all theories about the Big Bang will have to be rewritten, and researchers may soon have to find new explanations for the beginning of the universe and time. 
At the top of the list of the probably older galaxies are currently the galaxy Glass C13 with an age of 13.5 billion years and the galaxy CERS 93316, which could be even a tad older. Remember, the Big Bang should be about 13.7 billion years ago, and after the Big Bang, there was supposedly nothing for a very long time. But Webb's pictures show something else. Are there exoplanets with life? The second sensation that NASA published was only a few days ago. On January 11th, the space agency announced observational data collected as early as August 2022. Detecting exoplanets is one of the telescope's major tasks. Like no other before it, James Webb can sense tiny planets at incredible distances as they pass in front of their stars or the telescope analyzes minute changes in the star's light spectrum to determine the presence of planets. On top of all this, the telescope is equipped with instruments that, for the first time, allow it to make the finest measurements in the vicinity of exoplanets. The determination of a planet's composition and any atmosphere can thus be examined in greater detail. The first planet analyzed in this way was LHS 475b, a rocky, Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star about 41 light-years away in the constellation Octans. The planet is much closer to its star than Earth is to it, and a year lasts only two days on LHS 475b. By analyzing the transmission spectrum, scientists are now trying to determine what is present in the planet's atmosphere. In doing so, James Webb proved that it can easily detect a whole range of molecules. So far, the data have not been sufficiently analyzed to say for sure that LHS 475b has an atmosphere and possibly the conditions for life. But again, the first successful measurement was only the starting point, and we can look forward to more sensational results. The search for the edge of the universe. Does the universe have a beginning, an end, and boundaries? James Webb is intended to do no less than finally clarify these essential questions of mankind. In practical terms, the telescope can look back in time 13.5 billion years. That should be shortly after the Big Bang. It remains to be seen whether James Webb's scope can look back even further than previously thought. As we've already told you, the telescope has already turned the world of science upside down with the first images of extremely old galaxies. If researchers have found evidence of the Big Bang thanks to James Webb, at least the starting point would have been confirmed. But this is not so, and also no hints were found on boundaries of the universe which existed shortly after the Big Bang. In this context, of course, the question immediately arises whether James Webb can theoretically look to the edge of the currently existing universe. However, this question must be answered quite clearly with no. James Webb can only capture light and make sources visible. The light that hits the telescope's mirrors has been traveling in the cosmos for a different amount of time before it reached us. The image that James Webb records, thanks to the light, always shows the position of the light where it was at the moment it was emitted. Galaxies whose light reaches us after 13 billion years very probably do not exist today. Even the light of our nearest stellar neighbors in the Centauri system takes about four years to reach us. We then see the stars as they looked four years ago. So, since we have practically zero possibilities to look from Earth into the existing universe at the moment, we can't see to an edge either. As we know today, not only do galaxies move in an expanding way through space, but the whole space expands. The starting point was supposedly the Big Bang, which is now under scrutiny. A previously unexplained factor in the overall structure of the universe and its expansion is black or dark matter. Here too, James Webb is expected to provide new insights. However, the first measurements on this are still pending. The results could be the much-needed pieces of the puzzle of the overall cosmic picture or, once again, terrify the world of science. Dark matter is very likely an essential building block of the universe. It's the original ground of a not less mysterious network which forms the basic structures of the universe. That there is dark matter is clear. It only escapes all physical rules known up to now, and it's exactly this that provides for sleepless nights for scientists. 
what if everything astronomers and physicists thought they knew about the cosmos is wrong? If the telescope continues to deliver results that do not fit the previous theories, we will be able to experience in the coming months and years how the history of the origin of the universe will have to be completely rewritten. What do we really know about the cosmos? What we know and know for sure at the moment is the size of the universe known so far. This is the part of the cosmos that we can observe with telescopes. However, we currently have absolutely no way of estimating how large the universe actually is. James Webb's observation radius is 13.5 billion light years. The total size of the known cosmos is about 28.5 gigaparsecs. Parsec is a so-called astronomical unit shortened as A for cosmic distance specifications. One astronomical unit corresponds to the distance between the Sun and Earth, or about 90,000 million miles. One parsec corresponds to 3.6 light years or 5,880,000,000 million miles. So, 28.5 gigaparsecs would put us at about 58 billion miles, and we humans can hardly imagine that spatially. So far, Researchers assume that we on Earth can only see light up to a distance of 16 billion years.